Black man 89 is fired from supermarket manager turns pale when he finds out who he is. Harold Thompson, an 89-year-old black man, entered the local supermarket he had frequented for years. His movements were slow, deliberate, as he selected his groceries with the same careful consideration he had always applied. The store had always been a place of comfort for him, a place where he felt a sense of community. However, with the new management and unfamiliar staff, the atmosphere had shifted. Matt, the young, ambitious manager, watched Harold with a critical eye. His irritation grew as he observed the old man move at a pace that felt glacial to him. Why is this old man taking so long and holding up the line? Matt thought his impatience visible to Matt. Efficiency and speed were paramount, and Harold's presence disrupted his vision for the store. His bias has only intensified his critical view of Harold. As Harold approached the checkout, he was met with an impatient cashier. The line behind him grew as he meticulously counted his money, his hands shaking slightly with age. Matt, watching from a distance, decided to intervene. Sir, you need to speed this up. We can't have you holding up the line, he said sharply, his tone lacking any semblance of understanding or patience. Harold looked up his eyes, calm but tired. I'm doing my best, he replied softly his voice steady despite the disrespect. Matt, feeling the weight of the growing line and the cashier's smirk, lost his patience. You need to leave, he said louder. This time. The underlying message painfully clear. Harold was not welcome here, not because of his pace, but because of his age and his race. The words hit Harold like a blow. He handed over his unpaid groceries, and exited the store. The weight of every judgmental stare heavy on his shoulders, a place that once felt welcoming, now felt hostile and uninviting. The sense of community once felt was shattered. The following day, Harold returned to the supermarket. His purpose was not to shop, but to make a silent statement. He walked through the aisles, his presence a quiet protest against the injustice he had faced. Matt, seeing him, found a mix of confusion and anger. Why is he back? He wondered his frustration boiling into anger. Harold's daily visits continued, each one more puzzling and infuriating to Matt Harold's calm, steady presence was a stark contrast to Matt's growing rage. One evening, while reviewing security footage, Matt saw Harold inside the store after closing hours. How did he get in? He fumed, suspecting that Harold still had a set of keys from the previous management. Determined to put an end to this, Matt rushed to the store to confront him. Despite Harold's calm demeanor, Matt's fury was palpable. You need to stop this and leave my store, he shouted his voice echoing through the empty aisles. Harold, undeterred by the outburst, simply nodded and walked out. But the next evening, he was back again. This time, Matt's patience snapped as he called the police. When the police arrived, they escorted Harold to the station, much to Matt's relief. As Harold was being led away, he turned to Matt and said with a cryptic smile, Wait until you find out who I am at the police station. Harold's calm composure contrasted sharply with Matt's frustration. The officers greeted Harold with respect, shaking his hand warmly. Matt's confusion grew when he saw this. Why are they treating him like this? He wondered. One officer finally explained to Matt, You don't know who this is, do you? This is Harold Thompson, our former police captain. He's a legend around here. Everyone respects him. Matt felt his face turned pale. The man he had just treated so poorly was a local hero revered by the entire police force. Harold, seeing Matt's realization, invited him to sit down. I understand your confusion, he began, but let me explain why I did what I did. I wanted to see firsthand how my community was being treated. 
the revelation of Harold's identity sent shockwaves through the supermarket. The community, upon learning of the incident through a viral TikTok video, rallied around Harold, praising his dignity and courage. The video showed the former police captain standing firm a symbol of resilience against unjust treatment. The supermarket faced significant backlash. The owner, appalled by what had happened, took immediate action. He fired the staff members involved, including Matt, and issued a public apology. He rehired the old staff, offering them higher salaries as a gesture of appreciation for their dedication and professionalism. The owner also implemented new training programs for focused on diversity and inclusion, ensuring all staff members understood the importance of treating every customer with respect. The store once marred by discrimination, transformed into a place of inclusivity and unity. Harold's actions had not only exposed the racism he faced, but also sparked a broader movement for change. The community, inspired by his strength and dignity, came together to support him and ensure that no one else would face such discrimination. Harold continued to be a pillar of the community, his resolve strengthened by the experience. He understood that the fight against prejudice was ongoing, and he was determined to stand up for what was right. Matt, the younger manager, had been taken aback by the events that unfolded. The realization of Harold's true identity and the significant role he played in the community had shaken him to his core. The public backlash and the powerful response from the community made him reflect deeply on his own actions and attitudes. The training programs implemented by the owner also helped Matt see the importance of diversity and inclusion in the workplace. During the following months, Matt worked hard to rebuild his reputation and earn back the trust of his colleagues and customers. He started by making amends with the old staff members and learning from their experience and wisdom. He also took part in the new training programs, which opened his eyes to the importance of empathy and respect in managing a team. Harold, observing Matt's efforts from a distance, saw a genuine desire to change. He decided to reach out and offer his guidance. The two men met regularly and Harold shared stories from his time as a police captain, emphasizing the values of fairness, integrity, and community service. These meetings were transformative for Matt, helping him to grow both personally and professionally. As Matt became more attuned to the needs and concerns of his staff, the atmosphere in the supermarket improved significantly. The store began to flourish once again, not just in terms of sales, but also in terms of the positive environment that was created. Customers noticed the difference and returned, confident they would be treated with respect and kindness. A year after the incident, the owner decided to hold a community event at the supermarket to celebrate the positive changes that had been made. Harold was the guest of honor, and the event was attended by many members of the community including the local police force, who regarded Harold as a legend. During the event, the owner publicly thanked Harold for his role in transforming the supermarket and presented him with an honorary award. Harold, in his acceptance speech, spoke about the importance of resilience and the power of community. He praised Matt for his efforts to change and emphasize that true leadership comes from a place of humility and a willingness to learn. The speech was met with a standing ovation, a testament to the impact Harold had on the community. The event marked a new beginning for the supermarket and for Matt. With Harold's mentorship and the support of the community, he continued to grow into a compassionate and effective leader. The supermarket became a model of inclusivity and respect a place where everyone felt valued and welcome. Harold's story continued to inspire many, not just in the local community, but also beyond his actions, had shown that even in the face of adversity, it is possible to create positive change.
His legacy was one of courage, dignity, and the unwavering belief in the power of standing up for what is right. As a result, the supermarket thrived, becoming a symbol of hope and unity for all who entered its doors. From this story, we learn about the profound impact of treating others with dignity and respect, regardless of their age or race. Harold's calm, a dignified response to discrimination, not only exposed deep-seated biases, but also sparked a transformative change in his community. His actions remind us that standing up against injustice, even silently, can lead to significant positive outcomes. The importance of diversity, inclusion, and the power of community support our key takeaways. This story prompts us to reflect on our own behaviors and attitudes. How do we treat those who seem different from us? And are we willing to confront and change our biases? Have you ever witnessed or experienced discrimination? And how did you respond? Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below.